Well, it's back to school time, and with that comes a lot of stress for some kids. And if left unmanaged, that stress could be harmful to their health and their well-being. But that's why we have Jacqueline Phillips here from Qual Choice to talk about the top self-care to-dos for stressed out students. We were saying we cannot believe it's already almost time I for know. school to come back. Right. Um, but, you know, it is the reality. Things can get stressful, especially right at the beginning, yes. as they're like, whoa, I've got to get back into the swing yes, of things. Yes. So what are some things that students can do or maybe things that parents can help their children mm -hmm. do to... Take a breath. <laughs> Take a breath. Well, one of the first things that you can do on a daily basis, and it's really simple, easy technique, is deep breathing. So if your student is coming up on a project, a challenging homework, a, a test, they need to take a, some, a second to step out and kind of mentally take a break. Take a deep breath intentionally and slowly from your diaphragm. <sighs> And make sure that <laughs> we all need to do that. Yes, and just make sure that your your diaphragm is going up and down, not in and out, up and down. Okay. Yep. And then the next thing is that they can do a progressive muscle relaxation technique, which this is what you're going to do when you're before bedtime and you are kind of trying to relax. You want to start from your toes and squeeze muscles for five seconds, and then work your way up your body to your okay. neck, and that really helps with the. Uh, relaxation of physically as well as relaxing the mind. Might help them get to sleep a little faster too. Yes. I can only imagine parents trying to get everybody back on some semblance of a schedule right. <laughs> yes. that they didn't have during the summer. So yeah. might be helpful there yes. as well. Another one is exercise. Mm -hmm. So you want to get your kids out there for 10 or 15 minutes just to get them out there and just to improve their mood and when they come back they'll be more focused. Mm -hmm. And one that incorporates the deep breathing and exercise is yoga. And that's, that's available a in a lot of family-centered um, gyms, or it might be even available at their school. But yoga, it um, reduces blood cholesterol, your heart rate, stress levels. Yeah, just a little bit of everything, you know, as you're going back. I think it's a great advice that you're giving, too, not just for the students, but the parents, too. Right. It's stressful for parents, even if they've been working all summer. Mm -hmm. Just getting everybody back into that routine, mm -hmm. it's a challenge. Yes. And, uh, I guess reality is setting in soon. We've got to got to get back into the swing of things. Yes, so. and one of the big things <laughs> when you're getting into the swing of things is sleep. Mm -hmm. Your teens from 13 to 18 need eight, 10 hours of sleep. Yeah. So make sure that their afternoons are free of, of obligations and watch your sleep patterns for, because it can, lack of sleep can, uh, the cognitive function. Oh, it can help that for sure. I know I need sleep to get to say things right on television. We'll right. just sit that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining yes. us, Jack, and we appreciate it. And we'll be right back after a quick break.